the Morello Palace. Morello Palace. I have no idea. Is it viewing by point of mine? It's a cute to have a look in. No, I don't tell you that much. The Rapido. Rapido. Wonder if I can get in and have a look at it. Oh, the doors are open. Ah, oh, it's... it's sold. Please contact sales. It's a French company. I'm nothing. I don't know anything about companies. Rapido Dreamer. Nice name. Fixed single double beds. And this one. Yes, we've got you know, £62,000. That's not bad going that way. £62,000, £800. Wow. Yeah. This is all I want yet. Four berth, bed in the top, single double in the back. Captain Seeds. Wow. Hager Sea Tour. Look at the size of this garage. Wow. I think I could fit my little bike in there, my folding bike. Let's have a look on the inside. So it comes with oof, Captain Seats in the front, two single beds in the back. And the middle piece, sorry. It's got Hager Sea Tour. Look at the size of this garage. Wow. I think I could fit my little bike in there, my folding bike. Let's have a look on the inside. So it comes with oof, captain seats in the front, two single beds in the back, and the middle piece. Sorry. And it comes with a, a ceiling bed, so you can that, so somewhere there'll be a power button to put that down. Shame I'd never be able to drive one of these. I think it weighs about. More than uh, three and a half tons. But if you didn't even want that, say, put a 12 mile long time at the end, just do as an additional thing, it's just a few points. So, it's coming to you. If you want to spend your hard earned. External storage compartment. It's a lot bigger on the inside. Oof! That's, a, that's the fridge freezer, I think. Uh, I don't know. Oh, that's the freezer. Freezer compartment. Wow. Look at this. Two single beds in the back. Ooh, separate bathroom and shower. Oh. It's got a mass, massive, 
um, storage underneath. Wow. Um, well, well, this is not much head height problem for me. Ah, that's the catch. Yeah. Ah, I see. I see how I couldn't get it to work. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Automatic drive, automatic drive chain with paddle shifts. External storage in the floor. Ah, oh, so that table slides out. Four travel seats. Ah, oh, that does slide out then. Oh, wow. I want one of these, even though I can't afford one. Ah. Skylight with bug shield. Oh, I so want one of these. I'll take it that's the fuse box then. <laughs> Fluffy paddles. Oh wow. It's on the Mercedes Benz Sprinter. Well, it's not much of a TV screen actually. I would have thought it'd be bigger. It's the wheelchair accessible version. So, I don't think I'll fit in that shower pan, put the door shut, <laughs> dear. It's the wheelchair accessible version. Shame I'd never be able to drive one of these, I think it weighs about more than Oh, three and a half tons. Oh wow. <laughs> Ooh, that shower is not very large. I doubt if I'd fit in it. Ah. Push here. Three peaks campers. Comes with four travel seats, driver and passenger, and the two back here where the dining table is. Take it. <laughs> Cooker, sink, oven. Bathroom and shower. Imagine. That sink is a lot nicer than the one in my flat. <laughs> You're not drinking the wine while driving. Okay, you know we don't do that. <laughs> Two single beds. Oh, pull out, pull out steps for the. Let's have a look. See, I've been wanting that. I would have thought that freezer compartment would have been a bit bigger, actually. Not very large. As has always happened, I have got myself lost again, and I've been here three times to this hall. I tell you what, I'm not buying anything here. 
have a look, see and stuff. But, but storage area. Is there another one on this side? No, it's just a heater vent. Clark stairs. No, do you know why? I, do you know why I can't have this? Oh, oh no! Pulls <clears throat> out somehow. Okay, it's storage area. Hmm. X ray. Driveway awning, I believe. No sewn in ground sheet. It's detachable. I like the lighting in here. Shame I could never get the sponsorship. Show sales order, you never get me buying one. Unfortunately, I'm not a caravan, but I'm not a camping hard person. T6.1 Camper King with canoe. Oh, that's a look see. Really? Is it the beach or the ocean? Oh, I don't know actually. One in the half. Take four though. I don't know what I'm trying to see. That's the caravan at the moment. Oh, yeah, it's in the So take it, and yeah, that's the grill. Good. Wow. So, double bedding back. DSG gearbox. Ooh. Wow. I think it is spring loaded. Uh, that doesn't open. That doesn't. That does. Passenger door. Paddle shifts. Armrest. I ain't looking in that. Armrest. All storage area actually. Good products. Put that down softly. Oof. Well, mind you. Yeah. So I take it you would sit like this and oh, oh my word. <laughs> Seats lower than I thought it would be. <laughs> uh, so, end washroom. Yeah. Storage area. It's kind of a builder. Today, Kevin and Camping Shop, there we go. Which I know it keeps pressing the horn. So, let's just sink. Oh, the place with magnet. Free burner and an oven. Should probably get hooks up to the gas in there. Yeah. 
So you've got a place for your fr freezer stuff and your beer. Ford Transit, custom. Oh, so it's the... Ah, this is the one with the shower in the back then. It's nice like, isn't it? Automatic camper based on the Ford Transit. And does it come with the Ford, uh, the 4x4 drive chain? Ooh. Oh, wow! I'd love to be able to uh, rent one of these. Yeah. Ooh. That's it. <laughs> Myself into petrol. <laughs> I can't sit back again. Oh, so freezer compartment, oven. So you get an oven grill, freezer compartment, and a a beer chiller. <laughs> like every moto needs somewhere to keep your beer cold. So that's the sink, so this will be the two burner, the three burner hob. Ah. So this is the, I can't remember what it is actually, Bailey. So you got one maybe double bed there. So no, not so. Sockets here, so it'd be on the swivel bracket so you can Yeah, but which would go there at the minute. Yeah. Which is ample room to so Yeah, so you can, you can move it, but... Depending on sort of what angles you're sitting at. Would it be better off a bit lower? Well, yeah, it sort of yeah, goes where you're sitting. Otherwise, you'd be looking at the ceiling. I'd prefer it about there, but it's just a tiny one. Yeah. Yeah. That, that would be better off. The external, uh, external power. Yeah. So you've got a bed above the driver's and passenger's compartment. One, two. two. Five travel seats and a folding table, double bed in back. Oh, what every motorhome needs somewhere to put your beer. Separate shower and toilet. You're squeezing a lot. Why more? If I get that name right, if I'm wrong. This is where I need a handrail. All the loadings. Unfortunately, I don't really want to have a look at a lot of caravans. Because unless it's over three and a half, unless it's under three and a half tons, I can't drive it. I get the funds, I will actually. Oh, scooter! <laughs> so the garage is big enough for a scooter. I don't know if it's old and bike, but it will. <laughs> Show pack, third. Uh, Total by 68,000. Oh, God. 
Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six seat belts. That's the that's the bed. As I've been. And this must be the end shower or end, oh, end bedroom. Mm -hmm. Oof, it's a bit dark. I'm not all right. So, oh, it's a. Oh, it's the shower. I don't know what was in there. It's just. Uh, I'm not pulling that anymore. <laughs> So double bed in the back. Uh, oh yeah, it's got a little one. Again, <coughs> oven. Oven and grill. You making yourself at home? Well, yeah, but why not? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to test out the length of the bed. What do you think now? It feels a lot more spacious still, doesn't it? Fiat colours option, Fiat colour options. That's really nice hot as well. Yeah, you've got grill and oven. Um, yeah. hob. We've got three hobs, it's three plus a... Plus electric. Plus an electric, that's cool, isn't it? Um, that is cool. Well and baby, they get you. Much, much smaller fridge. It's the size of this as well. It's much bigger. I found by the fuse box, isn't it? I like the island bed option. So travel seat. That's not a travel seat. There's no seat. Belt. Coachman. This should be based on Mercedes, yeah. That's quite deep, actually. Let's see if I can get this shot. So it goes all the way to there. Separate shower. That's the shower. Little vent. 
Dat zou natuurlijk wel even zussen, nou, gewoon daarnaast willen. Zo, zeg maar het toilet. Zo, sommige keer weer wat schouwen en de deur te toilet. Dat is niet zo. Dat is de same. Wardrobe. Jim, I'm looking at stuff I can never buy. <laughs> 74,000 pounds, Linesburg. Super. Pepper edition. She might have never had to fall. The thing is, if you do Cato Vans, the glove box is absolutely tiny and it's not cooled. Two birth. So I'm guessing it's the. Oh, it's a Peugeot version, so this is the 2.2 litre diesel engine. There is a mm, lots of room for beer, but that's right. This is, should be the shower and toilet. So this is the bathroom. Wow. That's me. Wow. And for fantasy photos, UK. Yes, and you want. So two single beds, the middle down the middle. If I slept at that end, I'd wake up and hit my head every day. <laughs> Oven, I'm just trying to figure out. Yeah, I don't know what any of those valves do. So draw, cutlery, cutlery draw. Heater van. Uh, two single beds. So that comes out by the feel of it. Six, seven, five. Uh, six, seven, five. Uh, six, seven, five. Ah, so you got a double bed here. Storage, eh? Right? Or oh, so you can have it single. So basically, the point of PG. Maybe not too high, to be honest. Lockdowns. Ooh, there's your battery. <laughs> so there's your battery compartment, heater vent. So, four travel seats. I like the dark board. Fridge and freezer compartment. Oh, you got an oven here. To be honest, I'm quite squashed in already. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, this hallway down here is barely wide enough for me. <laughs> I think, I think if you buy one of these, you can do it, serve your neighbours breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do you want bacon sandwich or something? <laughs> 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 
It's alright. I, I would have got out earlier, but you were at the door. That's alright. <laughs> uh, feed the Cato. Wheelchair accessible. What is this? On one of these then. Place to lock your wheelchair in. Place on the Fiat Ducato. Have a look at it. Fiat. Can I actually stand up? Can I actually stand up without bending? Oh. This is wheelchair accessible. I'm not looking at that cover, do you? So take it, that's for the person travelling, and this is for the disabled person. Oh wow. Here we go, there's a bit of air light problem. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> put, put it up to your bed, wash your head. To be honest, that's where the uh, per disabled person's bed by the look of it because of the hoist. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely, yes. yeah. That's exactly what it's like, yeah. I should not have looked in that cupboard actually. Ah. Well done. Well done for making one yeah. of these things. Yeah. I don't know why. Can you do that? Can you just leave it? Oh, God, yeah. One seated? Yeah. Yeah, because ours will go on here. That's fabulous. How much is that? Oh, it's a year old. Yeah. Yeah. Captain seat. Oh, no. So we bought if you bought one brand new. Unfortunately, I'm a bit useless on caravans because I can't drive them, and uh, I've got a license. I don't mind having a look at my own, I suppose. Oh, both of them. So I just put them there. Oh, yeah. That's a <laughs> dustbin bin. Ooh, by the way. This is a lovely. So, probably pull out settees to make your bed. I think that's just a curtain. Yeah. So this is based on the Peugeot. Well, that's not how you open it. Oh, how do you open it? No. Storage. More storage. I think in order to do that you have to press both sides. Wow. That's a TV mount obviously. Manual gearbox, USBs, USB leads, sat nav. It's everything you need for you. Ooh. 
the Radis Purjo Supreme on Fourth Day. I just left this one, no, the, the uh, very seating, yeah. so, another verger, <laughs> oh dear, so it's either that or your first house, I think I'll drive by my first house, oh, yeah, good point, that's it, oh, nice side double bed, please leave this side closed, this screws, okay. That's a big double cover. I get very claustrophobic, and of course, I won't be able to buy, ever able to buy one. Yeah, I'll, I'll be able to buy one. Summit 600 frame. So, two berths come with an optional third. So. So that's where the third one will be. Oh, I see. Oh, I see now. Well, for a minute there, I didn't actually come with a toilet. <laughs> So shower and toilet. Yeah. Okay. Because you've got the boils. Boils. Got the door on the other side. Very phone. So this folds up so you can actually get something like a bike in. Then. Yeah, but I told you I'd never say goodbye. Oh, this one's a cupboard. Ooh. Oh, I like the... Uh, oh. I think if I actually had to buy it, if I bought this, I'd raise the passenger seat. <laughs> sort of raising the skylight. Accessing. What does a glove box look like? Not a very large glove box. No, is it chills? Cato based. Oh, uh, uh, the size of that garage. Yeah. Don't want to do it. Yeah. It's a long one. She's to be This is something I would love. The <laughs> just the ground clearance. These bad guys, viewings by appointment. Oh, no, no. 
appointments, aren't they? Are these all appointments, aren't they? Great. I knew it was appointment zone, I would have booked in advance. There's enough area for a small folding bike. This is handy. Shopping, whatever. Four belts, uh, four travel seats, and four people. Ah. So it's based on the Ford Transit. Fragile LCD panel, do not apply pressure. Okay. Auto trail, I got this right. Oh, that's heavy actually. Uh, that's a fuse box. To be honest, I'm thinking that it's a pull-out bed by the look of it. I think the end is a shower, is the washroom and kitchen. Yeah, and kitchen and washroom. To be honest, it's that's the bed because <laughs> uh, this is just the kitchen <laughs> and shower room, so. Actually, I think this is a pull down bed, I believe, I'm not really sure. I don't know why I feel the need to just press and touch everything. Ah, I think I need to go back to the caravan holidays. Top of board sink, nice and matches. Ah. So double bed in back. Pull out bed in the front. <laughs> so it's a three or four berth. Six berth. Oh, six berth. So. But that falls to the front here. Oh, I thought that double was a double. Bed. So and double then, bed. And then double bed in the back. Yeah. This creates a double ah, bed. Ah, so six wow. berth. So I do like the shoes. Ah, yeah. Get David. So two. This would actually be the perfect cat this would actually be the perfect camper for me. <laughs> so set of your beds. Sink. So two burner oven. I think it's the feet the Cato base. Auto trail. Uh, that's a light switch. Uh, cupboard. Nice size fridge, but look at it. I can figure out how to open it. Yeah, I'm not even going to try. Yeah, it's based on the Fiat Ducato. It's got the digital dials as well. So it's not a captain's seat. Here's that. I put the chopping board up and I couldn't figure it out to get it down. Lots of storage. 
That's so the driver's seat is not a captain's seat bulk of it. Looks like, don't know. No, uh, because where, where would your legs oh, yes. go? That's right. Shame it's only a two berth though. Yes, it is, isn't it? That's but a compromise. Put the children in the orange. Children, you're on it. Uh, what's the pet sale price of this car actually, Ben? Cat o. Too good. Absolutely perfect for me. Auto, auto trail expedition. Elidus Auto Quest CV40. It's based on the Fiat Ducato, so it's got the 140 brake horsepower, 2.3 litre engine with ooh, continental tyres. Uh, we can get on, if I can get inside. It's a bother. I believe it's the two berth model. If I do this, someone else will just go walk in. So you got, oh, it's the pull out settee version. two-birth model with the pull-out settees and that's for storage up there so it's beds at the back I think they pull out I don't have it I'm not very knowledgeable when it comes to motorhomes I'm more of a car person. This is the tuba. So probably I think it's only two travel seats because I can't see any seat belts there. And this is probably the one of these days I got I think it's based on the Fiat Ducato. Yeah, you got the separate shower and Washroom. Hmm, maybe I should adjust the experts. In his order, actually, I'd love to have talk. It's the Aladis Accorder. Yeah, these pull out to become one bed. Got a separate bathroom in this one, Dennis. I like the skylight. Manual gearbox. I think in order for me to actually walk in here, you need to have me just stood here in the skylight. Oh, it's for two people. Pull out cities. So, two single beds. 
Uh, this. So that looks like the gas chamber. The gas in the chamber. I don't know why I keep calling it a gas chamber. It's not storage. Throw car elegance 2023. So this is a brand new one. Optical third, optional third bed. So. It's either going to be where the dining table, either the dining table's going to fold down and that's going to be your bed, third bed, or... Oh! Yeah. Oh, so that's actually a full privacy So you can have a shower and go in the fridge! <laughs> Like that. Yeah. Where's the other? So I can do this and uh, get myself shut up on the uh, front part, and I can also do that. Just playing around the doors. <laughs> How are you? How are they doing? Are okay. Good? Well, to be honest, this is the uh, shower toilet area. Oh, I see. If I can find a shower head. Very good. Can I swap with you so I can take a look? Yeah. Close the shot. Oh, you're right. Don't yeah. oh, mind it, go. Just a bit tight in the space. Yeah. I was trying to figure out how it works, but I can't find the shower head. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what, this is a shower head. Look, it's definitely Oh, okay. See? I wasn't using my eyes well enough, though. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Uh, no offence. <laughs> so, this is. Captain seats, that's seat belt. Oh my word. Uh, I think I know where the third bed will be. Yeah. Uh, uh, that is. Oh, so that's your bit to add on, so you've got a bit more kitchen prep area. Oh crap. No, I shouldn't. Why do I... Well. Why did you do it? I don't know. Okay, okay. Ah. Oh, that's it. Well done. Well done. To be honest, I keep getting myself into trouble, then I find out how to do it. <laughs> well done, I'll leave you to it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, cutlery, cutlery. <laughs> Storage. Oh, so that's also the fuse box down there. <laughs> oh, so the sink. So the kitchen tap is the sink. So. Ah, I see. Storage. More storage. Fridge freezer. Cupboard. I'll tell you what, you can uh, give your driver, passenger, uh, all passenger, uh, privacy while having a shower. Because <laughs> uh, the middle part is the shower. Yeah, it's fine. Else, oh, you're coming out? Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Oh, it's the temperature controls. Is this a 
Well, it's open from both sides actually, but not supposed to. Ah! Nope. Oh, that was freezing. Is that freezing? Oh, I like that feature. So you can actually lock it so the door doesn't come open if you don't lock it properly. Free burner. Free burner. Sink. Ooh, sliding mirror. So. Ah, so this is the wardrobe then. I see. So that's the wardrobe in the shower. Okay. Shepherd shower and toilet. Cupboard space. My thing is, I don't like the idea of uh, me sleeping down here, children sleeping on the bed above. <laughs> A bit, of an, a bit of a silly idea, I think, but what do I know? <laughs> Ooh. That's just what you play Oh, it's the Citroen Dispatch van. It's based on the Citroen Dispatch. I wonder if I was getting a per the feeling of a Persia. Oh, so it connects to the garage. Oh, so the shower also connects to the shower into the garage for me. Oh, I guess we close that then. <laughs> <It's> a bit odd. <laughs> The garage goes the garage here goes through to the shower. Mm. Okay. Mm. I didn't know that. What was it? So double bed in back. I think it's supposed to push it up. Oh, is it? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, it's just a... Oh, no, it goes up. Goes up. Sorry, I don't know. It's by the look of it, it's the two birth version. Side of the caravan. Yeah, yeah, got you. Yeah. Well, that's actually big enough as it is. Yeah. So this. Oh, that's the light switch. Yeah. So. Captain seats in front. Uh, no, you're all right. <laughs> Ooh, it's the Fiat Ducati. <laughs> So this is based on the Viet Ducato van. Well, the Viet Ducato van to birth. What do they call those beds anyway? Is it Ireland or something, those beds? The bed, do they call them the island or something? I don't know. I like the idea, just simply so you can just spread about. That's it. <laughs> so. Oh, my word. So you got storage underneath. It's actually quite a large storage area. Oh, 
I'll just put the... How the hell do they do this? Why the hell did I raise the bed? This is the Adria Drin, Twin Supreme 640. Hmm. Three berth, four travel seats. Oop. Twin beds in back. I wonder why there's no canas camper vans here. Fridge. So oven and grill. No, that's the outside the awning. It's a cupboard space. So Oh, I feel the need to look in every cupboard. So storage area underneath the bed. That's at least the bed, so that way around, in that two singles. All kind of a bit of joining up bed for the And an oven. Uh, not seen one yet. Yeah. I like the, um, you got the permanent bed at the back. Got seats here, they sort of uh, this is the free berth, so those seats actually turn into a bed. These turn into a bed, do Yeah, well, it says free berth, so I can't find unless that middle belt part counts as a bed. No way. Sure. What do they turn into when they're not lying down there? Sort of is it like high seats it, or something? No, I think it's where the storage area is because that's the storage area at the back. Okay. But they must, if there's a middle cushion, that means that these must be independent. Yeah. Well, to be honest, I think it. Uh, I'm not really sure. I think the middle one comes out so you can fit a bike or something. A shower and a uh, toilet. Yeah. Come out. To be honest, I'm not the salesperson, so I can't really. Oh, mate, there's the shower above your head. I can't really advise you. No, it's fine, mate. Grateful. I'm not. Um, I don't know anything about camper vans except it's hard to drive them. That's quite smart. Like that. Thanks anyway. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, free birth version. I was reading information before, I always tend not to. So, that one's slightly more, it's probably because of the colour. So this pulls out into a bed. So, That's the bed. Two berths. Dining table. So there's steps that come out of this bulk of it. That is not really big enough, that freezer compartment. Cupboard. I'm at the wrong angle, probably. Uh, I think that's the butcher's. No, it's dining table. Yeah, no, it's chopper block. So maybe it's uh, the extension to your cooking space yeah, or... which is a good idea, I suppose, yeah. And uh, it's not very hard to tell. It's, it's been designed to make it look like it doesn't come out. Look what you've got oh, down the here too, look. There's the micro. I don't think that bit clear. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. I like the tape outside. Yeah. 
that's the margin. I'll tell you what, when the seats are like this, there's not really a lot of room for your legs. No, you no, can't that's turn true. it. Yeah, that's that true. one you can turn, but that one you can't. Can you can't well, you can't without any leg room. They, they both turn. That one will. Yeah. But no. Mm. The other one, there's another one slightly longer than the same thing. Oh. Oh. Well, that's the bed at the back, though. Uh, I think that's the wardrobe. No, it's storage. It is a wardrobe, but very thin. Oh, sorry, I'm at the wrong the angle. Table. At the wrong it angle. Not much, but the bit. Which is to be honest, this is a storage as well. Oh, that's, so. that, that's a wardrobe too. For shirts. That's a longer wardrobe. I just put the catch in. This side gets very compact, Catherine. Yeah, time to see. USB, 12 volt. Tons of this here. Uh, that's the electric step you're pressing. Beds in the back, so either it's two single beds or. Two single, yeah. Oh, you can or, have a double. Oh, they do yeah. come out. I, oh, no, I can't get down there to have a look. So. I, know. <laughs> I know, it's hard, isn't it? Yeah. So well, I mean, I don't, if I open it, is that helpful or not? No, no so it wasn't the other. Beds. Yeah, oh, I see, yeah. But there's only a drawer under it, you don't seem to be able to get into the other one. So you'd have to get into the other one from above. I think it's the other one's the gas chamber. I don't so know. So it's probably all used up. I, I don't know, to be honest. I've not really looked around the back. So you've got places you can get into it here, The only thing I know about camper vans and motorhomes is the simple fact how to drive a van, and that's it. <laughs> that's a good start. That's a good start, yeah. You tend, to, you tend to do a lot of van driving when you're a van driving courier. Right, uh huh. Oh, well, you're the salt of the earth, you guys. Thank you for working through the pandemic. It wasn't me, I was off on off sick on some of it. <laughs> an honest man. <laughs> Unfortunately I caught COVID during the COVID pandemic. <laughs> so toilet, shower, sink, foldable sink. Oh this has got back to it, the sink has. Some of the Camper van sinks I tend to find have no back, so the water just runs off straight on the floor. This one, you got actually got a sink. I just. Ah. No microwave. Unfortunately, I think you have to buy the microwave yourself. Well, the good news is, by the look of it, you fit. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if I fit in here. Oh, that word, not with a backpack. Yeah. It's plastic. Oh, I'm in there, yeah. Oh, so you get a curtain, you get a hanging rail in here as well. Oven. Ooh. 
they know what you're doing. <laughs> Europa Wild Axe, two berth, two seats, good old Fiat Ducato. Yep, very standard Fiat front to it. And then a very nice little interior there. Look at that. Surprisingly spacious in here. Fridge little heads in there, sink. Like the um, slidey door for the shower there. Good size fridge, yeah. Yeah, they packed a lot in here. Obviously makes makes up your double bed at the back here, which is huge. Hmm. You seem quite a long way away up there. Yeah. Nice. Wild axe there. Based on a Ford, this one. Amazing what they pack in. And of course the pop top. That was a bit like uh, the one we hired, wasn't it? Camper, camp, camper van getaways? Yeah. It was a bit like that one that um, Julie hired. A similar sort of length. And as I say, yeah, based on the Ford, uh, the Ford Transit. A dreamer. Physically get in this one, but uh, but that gives you an idea of the uh, interior. Look in the back. <laughs> this one is the D55. Love this little ladder up into your pop top as well. Look at that. 
Ah, c'est plus le chien, il faut en There's a bit of data on it. Six metre van. See that big hot top that we've just been up in. And then the usual um, extras that you can add to it. The one that we're looking at here, though, that I've just showed you in there, that's, um, that's at the uh, 72 on the road. So much squeezed into, squeezed into the vans. Very clever designs, aren't they? Yeah, very nice. Another little pop top there. Oh, look at this cream interior. So, here's the back. A little cassette toilet here. Under the floor. A little shower tray there. Just trying to work out. Looks like the shower would fit there. And then, uh, not quite sure where you'd physically stand, but a shower curtain or something must come down to protect the rest of the van if you're having a shower. Mm. Yeah. Incredible to think they've packed all that into into not even a high top van just with a pop top 